my sisters. We thank God for this day, for what he's done in our lives, for what he's doing, for what he's yet about to do, for his protection, for his favor, for his grace upon our lives. We thank God for the shelter, for the food, for the air we breathe, for our going out and our coming in. We thank God for everything that he's done for us in this year 2020 god has been good we thank god for his mercies he has been so good to us we are not dead we are living and we thank god for everything that he's doing i come your way once again with a, a word of god and today's word is comparison is the thief of joy why do I say that? A lot of people or a lot of youth these days compare their lives to their friends, their colleagues, their maybe classmates, their cousins, their family members. That's, they compare their lives to them that they rush and then also do things that will bring disgrace or even lead them to death okay so my message today is comparison is the thief of joy in this life we shouldn't compare our life with anybody we are all on a journey of life we are all on a journey of life and our destination, our roots are in the same. It is only God that knows our destination. It is only God that knows the future in our lives, that, that knows the future holds in our lives. We cannot compare our life to this brother or this sister and do same of whatever they are doing maybe that's their journey of life you might never know when you follow that same path you never know or you you, you can never tell what will be the end of you as when you look at these five fingers, as you see it, these fingers aren't the same. So in this life, we are all not the same. We all have different destination of life. So the word of, I'm going to share the word of God with you. And the word of God I'm going to share in the Bible is 1 Samuel chapter 8. 1 Samuel chapter 8. How the Israelites compared themselves with other countries and lost their freedom. All because they wanted Samuel to appoint a new king for them. So let's read and see what happened to the Israelites. Let's read and know what God said about the king that they wanted to appoint. And I read 1 Samuel chapter 8. Okay. When Samuel grew old, he made his sons judges in Israel. The other son was named Joel. The other, the other son was named Joel, and the younger one, Abijah. They were judges in Beersheba. Okay, but they did not follow their father's father's ways, or they, they did not follow their father's example. They were interested only in making money. So they accepted bribes and did not decide 
cases honestly. They did not follow their father's ways, which means Samuel's heart was after God. He was a righteous man. His children were it. They followed their own path. They were taking bribes and they were doing things that pleases themselves. And even when there are cases that comes to them, they don't decide it with honesty. Okay? So I read verse 4. It said, Then all the leaders, then all the leaders of Israel met together, went to Samuel in Ramah, and said to him, Look, you are getting old, and your sons don't follow your example. So then appoint a king to rule over us so that we will have a king as other countries have. You see, they were comparing themselves with other country. They weren't thinking about the freedom that they were having. They were comparing themselves with other countries because they, when they see when, or when they look at other countries, they think they have their own king ruling them and they, they when i think they they watched other countries the comfortability that they were living maybe they just watched it but they did not dig deep what the countries or the kind of rules or the kind of things that the country were facing so they also decided to tell someone that he should appoint a new king for them okay so appoint an, a king to rule over us so that we will have a king as other countries have. Samuel was displeased with their request for a king. So he prayed to the Lord and the Lord said, Listen to everything the people say to you. You are not the one they have rejected. I am the one they have rejected as their king. Ever since I brought them out of Egypt, they have turned away from me and worship other gods. And now they are doing, doing to you what they have always done to me. So then, listen to them, but give them strict warnings and explain how their kings will treat them. They were so even ungrateful that after everything, when God led them to, and brought them out of Egypt, instead of them to be thankful, to be humble, and then worship God, they forgot God. They forgot what God have done for them, bringing them, bringing them out of Egypt. After having their freedom, they were worshiping gods and then doing what they like. Later, they also told Samuel to appoint a new king for them. And God told Samuel to tell them that the, to tell them the strict warnings that they will face, the kind of things that they will face when they get a king. Okay, there are other things that sometimes when we go through in life, we compare our lives to other people. When we will look at this friend, or oh, this friend, my this friend is riding a car. We never knew how he he or she got the car. But because we, we've made comparison here, we also want to find the ways and means to acquire those things. Sometimes you see these young men and women, especially women, sleeping with the sugar daddies, sleeping with men that are even not, they are not even able, they are not supposed to even sleep with. Or because they've compared themselves with other people. Other people are having this kind of maybe things that they do not have. So they have compared themselves that they also want to achieve. They also want to acquire those things in life. So they do not okay, they do not care the kind of things that they will go through. People even go to the shrine to do all sorts of devilish things to get all these kind of materials, all because of comparison. And these young young guys also these days sleep with women that are older than them, women that are supposed to be their mother. 
all in the name of comparison that this my friend or this my guy has a car so i also want to get a car so they also follow the bad path or a wrong direction to acquire those things or this one is 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 married or this my friend or my classmate or my colleague i went with school with her or this my cousin or this my brother or, or sorry or this my sister or this my 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 nephew or my niece is married to this so i also need to marry and we follow a wrong direction a wrong path Sometimes God gives us a lot of warnings. God talks to us about the thing because of comparison, the things that we want to achieve. God sometimes gives us warning that no, this is not good for you. But because we have compared our life to other people, we still want to maintain what we want to achieve in life. We still want to get what we want. So we don't even listen to this warning that God gives us. We still want to do that pleases us. We still want our friends to know that, yeah, if you have, I also have. <laughs> oh my God. God have mercy on us. You can you can see, see or you can hear God's voice giving you warnings that this man that you are working with or this this woman that you are you are going to be with will, will lead you to uh, maybe frustration will lead you to disgrace will, will uh, there are a whole lot of things that will come upon your life when you follow this man or when you follow this woman but because of comparison you do not care you just want to you know, let your friend know that, oh, yeah, if he or she has done it, oh, yeah, I can also do it. <laughs> we don't think about the freedom that we are having right now, but we just want to compare, make comparison, and then follow a, a wrong path that will bring, you know, pains, that will bring distraction, that will bring a, a lot of disgrace or... A, sometimes it, it can even lead us to death you know we do not care this is what the israelites did they, they did not they did not care about the freedom that they were having but because they compared themselves with other nations having a king they told someone we also want we also want to have a king you should appoint a new king for us when you look at my five fingers, as I said earlier before, we are all not the same. It was only God that knows our destiny. It is only God who is the helper of our lives. You only know he is the only one who knows our future. And his time is always the best. So we shouldn't compare our lives to other people to lead us to distraction to lead us to disgrace or to lead us to disappointment you can see there are a lot of young women you know because his friend is uh, her, sorry her friend is uh, having maybe iphone 11 she doesn't care you she doesn't care whatever she will do to acquire those things she doesn't care she can sleep she will sleep, she will sleep with all sorts of men you can she, in her own spirit she can say that mm, this man is really not for me but just because she just wants to acquire those things just because she wants to acquire those material things she just lay herself just like that just for people or men oh, different geez. men or um, different men to, to to different men to sleep with her just for her to acquire or achieve what she wants in, in 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 life which is so 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 wrong you know and you see young guys you see your friend a young guy riding a car you said wow i want i also want to ride this car you don't know whether the guy is a froster 
what the God, the guy is a spiritualist or whatever. You, 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 you don't know just because you've seen your friend or your colleague or your classmates riding a car, acquiring some certain things that you are not having. You just also want to follow that same route and, and then acquire those things. You don't know whether that person was a froster or whatever. You don't know. And you you also try to follow a wrong path for you to also acquire those things. Some people even go to the shrine, drink all sorts of human blood, killing people here and there. All in the name of comparison. They want to be pompous. They want to be powerful. You, they want to see their friend. Yes, if you have, I have. I am better off than you which are all vanity. So we should really be careful not to make any comparison in life. Be content with what you have. Be satisfied with what you have. Work hard and achieve what you want to achieve. So let's read. Let's continue and read. And, and, and let us hear what God told the Israelites. What will happen to them when they get a king? It said, you know, verse 10, it says, Someone told the people who were asking him for a king everything that the Lord has said to him. Okay? This is how your king will treat you. Someone explained, he will make soldiers of your son. Some of them will serve in his war chariots. Sorry, in his worst chariots, others in cavalry, and others will run before his chariots. He will make some of them officers in charge of a thousand men, and others in charge of fifty men. Your sons will have to plow his fields, harvest his crops, okay, and make his weapons and the equipment for his chariots. Your daughters will have to make perfumes for him and work at his cooks and his bakers okay your daughters will have to make perfumes for him and work as his cook and his bakers okay and the lord continued to to tell and the lord continued to to say this to someone he said he will take your best fields vineyards and olive grooves and give them to his officials. He will take a tenth of your corn, okay, and of, and of your grapes for his court, for his court officers and other officials. He will take your servants and your best cattle and donkeys and make them work for him, okay. Hmm. He will take a tenth of your flocks and you yourself will become his slaves. Oh my God, there are a lot of people. There are a lot of people that have, because due to some comparison, they chose a life that is really making them, you know, that is really making them miserable. There are a lot of young women also whom they chose because of comparison. They chose a man that they are, they were not supposed to be with. And the man is even making them a slave in their own marriage, uh, marriage life. You know? So we really need to be careful not to compare because comparison is the thief of joy. Okay? So he said, you, you will make what? You will become his slaves when that time comes. You will come, you will complain bitterly because of your king, whom you yourself chose. But the Lord will not listen to your complaints. Be due to some comparison, we choose the kind of we, 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 we go through some sorry, we go through some certain things, or we do some we do some certain things that we are not supposed to do, or we choose some, some lifestyle that we are not supposed to do that lead us to distractions that lead us to a painful life that leads us to you know 
um, a lot of uh, maybe being a, a slave under someone because of what the kind of lifestyle we choose because we have compared our lives to other people so my brother says that my sister whom are you comparing your life to right now we shouldn't compare our lives to anybody on this earth our life journey isn't the same we are not the same We all have a different soul and we all have what God told us to come and do on this earth. So we shouldn't compare our lives to other people to lead us to distraction, to, to bring pain onto our own lives. Okay? Let's continue. From 18, he said, when that, come, when that time comes, you will complain bitterly because of your king and whom you yourself choose. But the Lord will not listen to your complaint. The people paid no, the people paid no attention to someone, but said, no. <laughs> there are some people like, there are some people like when you, you can, they can hear God's voice telling them that, oh, this what you are going to do this what you are going to do will bring disgrace will bring distraction will bring a fall in your life but because of comparison they don't care they just want to achieve what their friends or their colleagues or their family members or whoever they have compared their, their, their themselves with has achieved they also want to acquire those things so they do not care about the warnings that comes into their life there are other people that they meet their spouse that you can see a whole lot of signs that mm, this man or this woman that i'm being with or i'm going in with will bring a lot of shame will bring a lot of distraction will bring my downfall will, will will let me suffer in the future or whatever but due to some comparison that we want other people to see that oh yes we also have we do not care we also want to be, let people know that oh yes we also have it so we really don't care so we just want to you know we just ignore the signs we just ignore the warnings and then when something happens when something happens then we start praying going to churches we going crying here and there praying to god but if we have kept so quiet and listened to our inner soul and listened to the voice that was speaking to us the warning that was bringing to us we wouldn't have been in this mess so comparison is a thief of joy we should be careful not to compare our lives with other people and i continue to read he said the people paid no attention to someone but said no we want a king so that we will be like other nations you see they did not pay attention to what daniel was saying the warning that god Ask Daniel to tell the people what will happen to them. They never paid attention to that. They said, no, we will not listen. We want what? A king. It says, so, so that we will be like other nations. Because they, they, they've already compared themselves with other nations. They also want to be like other nations. They don't know what other nations are going through. They just, when they look at other nations having king, they just, they, it's like, they also thought, oh, other nations are having a king, so I also need to have a king. They don't, they never thought of the outcome or afterwards, what will happen. They never thought about it. So, I, as I continue to read, with our own king to rule us and to lead us as cut out sorry and to lead us out to war and to fight our battles someone listened to everything they said and then went 
and told the Lord. The Lord answered, do what they want and, and give them a king. Then some then Samuel told all the men of Israel to go back home. So you see, we should be careful when comparing our lives with other people. We shouldn't compare our lives to other people to lead us to do some things that we are not supposed to do. Because we might never know the outcome. It might lead us to distractions it might lead us to pain it might even lead us to death sometimes so we should always be content with what we have we should always be content with what we have we should